on PBS Kids. PBS. We are here to ask you a very important question, vital to society today. Is the proportion of seniors at Interlake High School who like the song Boyfriend by Justin Bieber the same as the proportion of seniors at Interlake High School who like the song Call Me Maybe? The results are in. Well, let's see, folks. We chose this question for the interest of the public, you guys out there. Seeing as though these songs are both on the top ten on iTunes. We wanted to see which type of song would be more appealing to the seniors at Interlake High School. We collected our data from our core classes that are majority of seniors. We chose math, science, and English to collect our data from. We asked every third senior to keep the sample as random as possible. And the results are in kids. The song that seniors at Interlake High School prefer is... Hey, I just met you. see by this table, six boys voted for boyfriend, while 44 voted for Call Me Maybe. The girls voted for boyfriend 17 times, and then Call Me Maybe for 33 times. As you can see by these pie charts, Call Me Maybe was preferred overall by, t by seniors. 77% actually preferred Call Me Maybe over boyfriend, which had 23% of the votes. On boyfriend's pie chart, girls significantly preferred boyfriend over the boys. And on the Call Me Maybe pie chart, there was a greater number of boys who preferred the song over girls. We completed our sample once we reached 50 guys and 50 girls, giving us a total of 100 seniors for our sample. And as you can see by these pie charts, both senior guys and senior girls preferred Call Me Maybe over Boyfriend. These are not the most shocking results, kids, seeing as though teenage boys today just don't seem to like the Biebs himself. But our conditions do conclude that all expected counts are greater than five and that our sample was random, giving us a good sample of our population. We performed a chi-squared test on our sample, which gave us this equation. In our equation, you can see that the six represents the number of boys who voted for a boyfriend, which is our observed results. Then the 11.5 is our expected value for boys voting for boyfriend. Once you have squared this, you divide it by 6, which is the number of votes the boys voted for boyfriend. You then do this for each individual section of our table, which is boys voting for boyfriend, boys voting for call me maybe, girls voting for boyfriend, and girls voting for call me maybe. Our x squared value was 6.83229. From that, we then went to the table and found our p-value. The outcome of our equation gave us a p-value of 0 .00895 and a degrees of freedom of 1. With our alpha of 0 .01, we must reject the null hypothesis and accept our alternative hypothesis that the proportions of seniors that like these songs are, in fact, different. In conclusion, the alpha of 0 .01 is, in fact, larger than the p-value of 0 .00895. Therefore, there is statistical evidence to reject the HO in favor of the HA. Thus, our conclusion is that the proportion of seniors at Interlake High School who prefer boyfriend is significantly different than the proportion of seniors who, call, who prefer call me maybe. But kids, there are flaws to studies like this. A way that we could have improved our study is by assigning each senior guy and a senior girl a number randomly. Then, using a random number generator on our calculators, we could randomly select 50 senior guys and 50 senior girls, which would give us a more accurate and more random sample of our population. That's all for today, kids. Thanks for watching. Math is fun. Join us next week for an exciting episode on which calculator is preferred by seniors, a TI-89 or a TI-2000. That's for 
the blue for real. Point zero zero eight five nine. Crap. <laughs> Higher. There you go. Hypothesis. Should I start that over? I don't know what to do. <laughs>